What the fuck? I don't know why there's a bunch of monks singing. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. What the fuck, Scott Street? We have someone here that wants to talk to the people. Someone that without him. Turn the music off. This will all won't be, have been happening. One sec. Tommy K was built not by me, but with a partner. And that man is the editor, the manager, the beautiful Serbian man. It is my boy Marconi, a dear friend, a man I've built everything with from day one. You have to all understand, Chad, this man has been doing so much work behind the scene here. You cannot imagine it. It's uh, <laughs> He didn't sleep at all. You look like a football player with that haircut. Look to the side. Oh, look at that. I've been, I've been growing it out for months now. I'm trying something new, okay? I just Listen, I got bored of my old hair, hair. now. As you can I, see, I, I have a... Oh, a, dude, literally, <laughs> this, is, this is what I'm talking about. He, he, he didn't eat the entire time on the street. <laughs> and the what the eat is what I'm here. <laughs> I'm gonna improvise because, let's be honest here, this entire show has been improvising. So, that's my take this on it. This entire show so, is improvised. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you guys see a lot of what happens on the stream. You see the casters, you see Tommy, and you, start, you see all the ads. But you actually don't know the people that are behind them, the people that worked on this. Because we've been doing this for like a month straight. A lot of people worked on this. And I, I always want to... It, it hurts me if these people don't get a shout out, basically. I legit, I want to like completely make sure that everyone feels appreciated. Because goddamn, we worked our fucking asses off for this shit. I'm not, I, I'm not kidding. I, not, this is not to make it about myself. I, I've been... The last month i've been working like 12 hours a day i've been trying to get as many people as possible to make this event a community thing i I'd never wanted this to be just a tommy k thing i always wanted to include as many people as possible me and tommy tried our fucking asses off to make it a hoi for community thing that we can all like you know come together on you know the same way like with the multiplayer game that's gonna happen we want to like connect the community and we want to make something you know cool so everyone can actually be part of it. Uh, first thing, because I never, I never, sh I never showed this off. Actually, I wanted to show this off because. Uh, oh, I never seen this before. Yeah. yeah. So oh, look at wow. this. I never, I never even took it off because I never wanted to. But it's the first time I take it off. So this is the play button. Let's be honest here. No one gives a fuck about this shit. They make this stuff for like fucking uh, cheap as fuck in China. But anyways, here it is. Look at that. Cool, man. Wow, I never seen that before. Dude, this is like well deserved, man. That that's this, cool, bro. And no, honestly, like, again, that, man. And it maybe doesn't mean so much to people may say it, but unironically, it's literally just because of you guys. You guys completely changed, like, mine and Tommy's lives fucking completely. I, I went from, like, thinking, oh, I'm gonna do university stuff, I had, like, boring ass, like, normal ass stuff, to now just being a fucking monkey who, like, just sits here and, like, my legs literally hurt because I've been sitting too much to edit and shit. <laughs> I know the so, like, listen, as you can see, I'm a degenerate. We both are. But anyways, we're your degenerates. <laughs> and you're, yeah, 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 you are, you're ours. <laughs> so yeah, basically, that's that's what we have here. I wanted to show that off. And then, yeah, okay, basically, first of all, Tommy, you're a fucking beast. You know that we're you know we're harsh for you. The harsh. I don't want to seem like we're harsh to you, but you're a fucking beast. This event was great. You fucking did a good job. Honestly, like, I love you, man. You know that. You know that. I love you. So now I want to actually go through a lot of people that helped a lot through this. Uh, first of all, starting off, we're gonna start off with our core group. The people that have been like doing this for like three years, obviously Tommy and me, because we're on screen right now. But don't forget about Sevi. Sevi has been with us for three and a half years. He's been in the graphics, the first ever outro on Tommy K stream. All Sevi, fucking shout out to Sevi. Give him the fucking heart he deserves. Okay, put it in chat. He does. And all the also, see on YouTube. And, the, and another thing, and I don't want to forget my brother, fellow editor Tony. I love you, Tony. My boy Tony, our second editor, check out Tommy K Wipe. There's a second channel, yes, and it's getting better and better. And now for the tournament itself, okay? These are some people, you guys are not gonna know the names, but I wanna make sure they fucking know that they help us make this happen, okay? Robbie, I've known Robbie for seven years. He's one of my best friends. Wow. Robbie managed to, he helped me a lot with this. He's a fucking beast at organizing. Shout out to fucking Robbie. Put it in the chat. And then now, Robbie! someone, oh, yeah. And then we have Adam, average Adam, that's his name. He's a, he's a student who's been focusing, he's, he's specializing in trying to be, uh, how to say it, an organizer of esports events and events in general. And, and he helps us a shit ton. In the last two years, I learned more about streaming and OBS than my entire career just from Adam. Swear to God. You're going to have a lot of new screens uh, next week, guys. That guy teached me so much. Then we're moving on to content creation and all those ads you see, right? A lot of them are us, Tony, Tony, me, Dijon, Dankus as editor, a lot of us that, but a lot of people from YouTube, Kaliningrad, Armchair Historian, Feedback, love you Dave, 
Dino Stan, Mountain General. Mountain General is a fucking beast. I love I, that guy. Is such a nice person to work with. Same with Armchair Historian and Kaliningrad General. Obviously, Tony made ads. Dijon made ads. And yeah, you guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much for helping with the ads. And I'll shout obviously graphics team. It was Sevi, as I mentioned previously, and Tovarish Lev. He helped a lot with the player cards. All those player cards you saw at the beginning, that are like uh, the stupid music and all that stuff we did. Tovarish and Sevi made that together. And now to the mods. To the zero dollar janitors in chat, if you know zero what I mean. The zero dollar janitors, internet janitors, omega low. Anyways, and it's been, it's Dwight, been us, with us for four years. Wolf Poops, your favorite communist. Ari, did all this hosting in this fucking, uh, in, in, the, in these matches. That was all Ari. Uh, and thanks for it. El, El Tooney, your Finnish, favorite Finnish guy. Robbie, obviously, as I pre mentioned previously. Taiga, Television God. Adam, obviously. Boom Zebation. Pikeman, Luna, Hantagus, Shwedi, and Vankas helped a little bit, but hey, Vankas, hey, my god, you're really gonna, your, your career is going downhill from here. That's all I'll say. <laughs> but anyways, Didn't even win besides the that, what the fuck is I, that? I, I love you, I love that. He loves it. <laughs> and we have, uh, obviously, a lot of people on Tommy K Discord, you know that little ad with the doctor? Tommy K Discord and me made that completely, the script together, we did it together. Tommy K YouTube boys for joining in the stream, even though they don't watch Twitch, thank you guys for doing that. Jue, Queerin. As, and, and Pentax special mentions to them. Thank you guys for fucking watching. And yeah, let's let's keep let's keep going. We're not stopping here. I want to shout out two more before we uh, get into the finals. Here, first of all, I want to shout out my beautiful girlfriend Lisa. She's a normie, and she has to put up with a lot of shit. A screaming boyfriend that cannot chill with her. I can't even eat with her here, man. This woman is going through a lot, man, and she is the greatest. And my final shout out is going to Paradox Interactive. It's going to the Hoi for developers and to Dan Lind. I know Dan is watching. He reached out. This is private stuff, though. We had, we did never have a good start, but in the end, Dan and your team, I gotta tell you, you changed my life. Your game is amazing. Hoi 4 is amazing. I talk a lot of shit about you guys, but in the end, without your game, I will still sit in a shitty supermarket fighting junkies. Shout out to them. And I think with that, we're done here with that. Makoni boy. Thank you I love very you, chat. much, man. Thank you so much, Makoni. Big shout well, out. One last thing. Hoi for esports. Omega lol. Peace. And that was that, gentlemen. A man that will do this tournament, this best of five final with me. A man that it all started with. My entire channel started talking shit about him just because I wanted his attention. And here we are as good friends. Gentlemen, I present to you, it is Feedback Gaming Dave, the gray silverback gorilla man. Dave, it, it means a lot that you, you have time. This is the final time you showed this graphic. Gentlemen, let's take a look here at the tournament. 7D, the unstoppable force, hasn't lost a single game in the qualifiers and in the tournament. Beating Mumiago quickly, beating Dankus in a crazy fashion. And now this man from Scotland, oh Scottish man, is our first finalist here. Unbelievable. On the other hand, let's take a look at the Roth, the pride of Russia, Grisha, who 2 0 Nave on day one and today showed great skill in his two wins against marcel the first one the closest game we've seen in all tournament and then grisha just blitzkrieg's the second game in just five minutes and we're gonna find out who takes it home i think we're ready to go to the final coin toss of this tournament grisha you are the younger one once again i think you're choosing the russian eagle is that true that's true and so we go into the final coin flip and it's gonna be probably the eagle again it is the two, 70, the one to choose his first nation in this best of five series. I love Germany. And so it shall be. Guys, I mean this, man. Good luck to both of you, man. You guys have done an amazing job, man. All the best. So Maybe. far, no one has taken a win over 70. And the question of this final is going to be, can Grisha take a win off this over? Overwhelming powerhouse. We're in game number one. 70 chose Germany. Grisha on Russia representing his home country again. And let's take a look at the opener. 70 moving his infantry to the front line. The tanks are following. Grisha uh, might show us tank memes again, but yeah, he's already going for the meme here. The game starts. There we go. The timer is on. And we're at game number one. Oh, we it see looks like a, a like crazy a move, Dave. Grisha just took all his infantry in Lvov and is now retreating them? 
with uh, railroads? I mean, this is a legit tactic. He's just trying to get infantry out of Lvov, but it doesn't seem to have any impact. And we have the first encirclement. Oh, no, it got saved. Aggressive play into East Prussia. Once again, this is like a staple of these games so far. Completely even at the moment. We've seen aggressive pushes, but it's just back and forth. Their micro is both incredibly intense. The APMs are through the roof. I truly wonder what the APMs they have. It must be over 100, I feel like. And I, I, I personally think no one is taking a big risk. There's the opportunity to push at least three or 4,000 mm. enemy territory, but it's like, no, I'm just gonna go for the one and look for opportunities, but none of this. Everyone is playing incredibly safe. They know everything to play for right now. It is eight infantry divisions that have disappeared so far. Eight, we have a, a slight disadvantage now for 7D. Gentlemen, I gotta tell you, for the first time here, we see 7D behind in points. We're back in the probing phase as we always are. Free infantry going down now for Grisha. Nice and circumvent. He finally gets it. He invests a lot of time here. These two tanks tried very hard. Oh my god, the North I was just about talking him. And he oh. kills it out two tanks and two infantry. Are you kidding me? What is going on here? 70 has to start feeling the pressure here. We have we have still a lot of time left. 22 minutes. But 70 for the first time in his life, at least in the qualifiers that I've seen, and the tournament behind. Crazy start here in the finals. And it looks like something is forming here in Lodz. Oh, oh we might see something Poland. big here. Tarnov might be dying. The green bubble is for Germany. The infantry tries to save it. But if the green bubble falls, the pin is there. Four Russian tanks. Beautiful defense by Glisha. That is a beautiful so defense. Wow. There could be an encirclement here. The Russian tanks looking for it. It's a counter encirclement, but it's open. If he micros it, Grisha can easily open this. There's nothing holding this. The two tanks are coming, but there was no support. But now he makes it even tighter. Pluck is encircled. Four infantry free tanks. Is this the beginning of the starting demise of Grisha here? He is not saving it. The orc is almost at zero, and he loses three tanks. Oh. Major losses here for Grisha Ooh. now. Yes, Grisha might be losing two in the north. Oh, two tanks though. Taken here, beautifully protected by a nice wall of tanks. And Grisha might have taken 12 infantry, but he cannot like losing two tanks and free infantry here. And now in the north, the Russian tanks trying something crazy here. We all know that these two tank snakes are very scary, but we see the we see the professionality of Grisha. He doesn't go further. Thanks me because he will keep going. But he stays. And oh no. <laughs> As we just said, it's the two tank snakes that seem to be the demise of so many players. Another two tanks down for Grisha. He cannot like that. 95, the infantry is looking very, very good for Grisha. But the tanks, the tanks, as I'm just talking about it, the players in circle again. Free tanks Three. just devastated. Gone. <sighs> Reduced to ashes. Yes, he gets the infantry kills in Romania, but the tank count. 22 tanks left against 28. Someone that's not joining the south anymore is these two Russian tanks in Allenstein that just got encircled. 70 is just so good at protecting these encirclements with beautiful tanks behind them and another two tanks down. This is going to start looking very grim for Grisha, who's down to 20 tanks. He's almost 30 infantry ahead. And he's trying a big move from Lvov now. And the Lvov encirclement is going to happen here. Germany gets the encircle and the tank just got uh, teleported into the east and just dies now unorked. Another tank down. It's starting to look dark now. <laughs> so where all Grisha's micro is happening in the south, 7D's like, fuck it. We've got more tanks than yeah. We're just going to keep plowing back into north and the center. And eventually this is going to collapse in on itself. Exactly. No one cares about that infantry. At least uh, Germany doesn't right now. He just kills another tank here. Looks for nice little encirclements in the north. Everywhere we look, we see Russian tanks dying. And unlike in real life, they can't just uh, produce more of them. You have 32 and that's all you have today. Oh. The game has been called. Grisha is calling GG here in game number one. And ladies and gentlemen, we have 70 coming back after losing the early game, the first 12 minutes, to take game number one. And I just received news that we still have ads. We have an ad break for the chat. Oh, apparently, chat, there's some more ads for you. Let me check it out. The music is gone suddenly. Gentlemen, what is, what? My work. No mercy. No mercy this year, let's get it. But in the morning, when I came to, I thought of you, I thought of you, I thought of you. Oh, every step I take, everywhere I go, 
I see your face, unforgettable Every heart you break, you will never know I see your face, unforgettable Unforgettable Shit, fuck <laughs> What's up? We are back Dave is here, everybody is here and gentlemen, we are in game number two. Grisha is down one game and he has to make it good. He is once again getting all his tanks to the north. No center south protection. 70 ready for it. We see the Zorkling army here north. He is ready. Otherwise, he has two in the south. Another six here at Lvov. He's looking for easy little infantry kills. Grisha playing Russia again. He's proud of his country. And he wants to represent it here on the big stage. And we are in game number two. Yes, the Blitz. The Blitz Creed. Oh! Four infantry! It's happening once again! Grisha is using the Blitzkrieg attack. He's like in game number two with Marcel. And he is rushing down our boy 70 on Germany here. Already getting how many kills? Nine infantry kills. And another three! Grisha says, you want to make this quick? Let's make it quick. You think Germany invented Blitzkrieg? I invented Blitzkrieg. And here he is with the massive kills. And we are back. And what is the chat? The probing face. The probing face is back. The players... Do not show any big threat of the circumstances. They're feeling each other out. But I'm saying that. At 70 says, Tommy, shut up. I'm just killing five infantry of Russia and Lublin. But he loses another two infantry. It's not two-dimensional. It's not three-dimensional. It's 70. <laughs> How long did you prepare that one? Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. You were like the king of, of jokes in this. <laughs> Feedback gaming, as he says, and we see the first tank going down this game. Apparently, Königsberg has been taken. One tank is down. 70 ain't making no prisoners. He's instantly trying to deorganize this tank. It shouldn't be safe, I think. It doesn't look like it's the main question is, is this gonna just be repeated history? Is this gonna be the same as game one? It looks the same. We have an early good start from Grisha. 70 counters a bit, and then slowly 70 rises up exponentially in the statistics, and he's taking the game away. Yeah, I don't agree with this. I think this is the same game we played last time. What's happening is Grisha is, I can't break in the front, I can't break in the north, so I'm gonna try the south again. Well, how did that end up last game? Exactly, he's doing it with only two, three tanks this time, and not a lot of value up there. Just lost two infantry himself in Königsberg. And there's the first, the second tank taken. It's starting. It's not as bad as last time, but the second tank from Grisha goes down, putting him down. Oh, 29, apparently another tank also died. He gets the infantry kills, but the tanks are north are dying. At the moment, this is a game of tanks versus infantry. Grisha kills infantry, and 70 kills tanks. The infantry, though, Ooh. getting thin here. Ooh. Follow Ooh. Six, oh, tanks. six tanks, really exposed. Six tanks exposed, what a miss, play by Grisha. How many tanks are wolf? You have to take a look oh. here. 28 oh. left. Is he getting up? Is he getting up? No, the tank arrives. The German tank arrives. VW, quick engine, and he arrived. And he opened it with infantry, Dave. Four infantry against one tank, saving the four tanks, but they're still in trouble. And he gets out. He gets out and saves <laughs> the four the tanks. Tank. Grisha almost 30 infantry ahead. But as I say that, Grisha seems to fall apart again. The four tanks he saved have just died. Yes, he saves this encirclement, but 28 tanks just became 24. Oh, the pressure is relentless. 7D is just on such a high level. Oh, oh God, I see so many scare positions. One has been closed. Grisha losing two tanks. This is not the right moment to lose tanks, Grisha boy. Looking for something here. There was a beautiful tank circumvent, but Grisha is going the long way. Grisha is going the long way. We see an unorked tank here. Where's the micro? This is a huge risk by Grisha. This could be game winning risk, but in the end, if you want to beat 70, you have to take risk. He pushed the tanks back. Very good decision making by Grisha, who's returning kills, more infantry, free infantry here, two up north. What an unbelievable game. Gentlemen, we're in the finals of the whole front the national, and this ain't no. The game is paused. Gentlemen, the game has been paused. Oh, Germany took Kiev and Minsk and held it for 12 days. It's actually a Germany win. Oh! GG! What? Tommy K does know the own rules of his tournament. What a game number two. Yes, if Kiev would have been saved, Grisha could have come back, but he is not. He didn't save 
Kiev here. Dave, thank you so much for joining us for two games here. Apparently, some guy in California just woke up. Dave feels a bit uh, low on energy. He doesn't want to do the free caster thing. It's his decision, man. Still, nothing but love to Dave. Thank you so much for being here, Dave. I will miss you. It was a you. pleasure. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I love seeing your face. I love hearing your voice. I love to hear more of your voice <laughs> in the future. Maybe next month we'll do another podcast episode. But that'd I love be great. that. Sure. I love that. Check out the Boomer cast. No, this is our. David, that's not Boomer cast. Dave, thank you so much, man. All the best. Check Dave Bye. out on YouTube and uh, Twitch, right? Yeah, that's right. He streams on. Yeah, guys, he guys. streams. What is this? What, what am I hearing here? It's something is ringing. Oh, it was now. Oh, oh, oh! Look oh. at him, <laughs> dude. Can you stop looking so good? You make me look like a monkey. I got, I got the, Jeez. I got the sportscaster thing and everything. Like I'm here, ready to go. Don't what? worry that it's not connected. Don't Dude, worry about that and part. Instantly, he saved world, world. He made world peace. Oh, I don't know if they're gonna be chill for much longer. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So, <laughs> hey, don't even. I don't know how much I'm gonna be good here. This is Twitch after all. <laughs> Drew, it is truly, truly great to see you. And here we are, gentlemen. Game number three. It's two zero. For our boy 70, let's see if the graphics are working. They are working. If 70 wins this, we have our first ever Hoi 4 international champion taking home $2,500. Drew, how do you feel right now and how do you feel about this game and this tournament? I think my nipples are really hard right now. Mm. I am lactating. This is a really exciting moment. I'm so glad I got to be here for like the most you know exciting part right here. Thank you so much. Uh, once again, Grisha uh, was the loser of last game, which means he's allowed to choose his nation in game number three. He chooses once again Russia, representing his home country once more. And gentlemen, let's talk about the game. I've supported Grisha from the beginning. I always said he's my favorite, man. I always was supportive to him. And let's take a look at game number three. I said in the beginning, this is where men are shaped. This is where Alpha is shaped. He either comes back or he doesn't. In the end, he goes home with a thousand dollars, man. He did a good job. And here's game number three now. We can yep, let's, let's talk about the game. Let's go. Let's go, Grisha. Put team on your back. It starts quickly with Grisha taking five infantry kills in his favorite province in Romania again. At the moment, still probing face. Another free infantry dying in the north for Grisha. Grisha far more defensive here today. He's not doing his... Uh, right, and game number three, I'm sorry. He's being far more cautious about his Romania push. He's not pushing to Romania. He's being far more conservative here for his tanks. He doesn't want to make the front line big again. He knows he needs to get this game while he kills four infantry. It just seems so madly hard against a good player, and as these guys are, to fight in Sorkomans. You fight in Sorkomans, yep. and they're instantly there. They counter it, and they even go so that far, one, yeah. then encircle you. Yep, I'm seeing a couple just like pop here and there, little little ones, but it's insane. You see now that the common phase is over, Drew, and two tanks have died from Grisha north of Breslevis. He tried the pincer movement, which in the end leads to him losing two tanks. One game away to crown a champion here. If Germany, if 70 wins this game, and it's not looking that bad, he's pushing and pushing. He takes the crown here. He will have 2 owed everybody and 3 owed the tournament. An unbelievable dominant performance there's got to be something that sets this guy apart there's got to be a different training method or some sort of different way that he comes about looking at this stuff that separates him from everybody else i like how you see something training method. i just received a message this morning you know what this guy did 70 he practices two versus one he takes germany and he lets two players take russia and then he micros against two people which is like Brock Lee having, or Son Goku having the weights at his legs. You know, he puts the weights on, there he is. takes them off during yep. the game. You gotta beat yep, your yep, enemy yep. the good way. And that is, yep. seems to be what 70 is doing. Gentlemen, we have a 7 infantry, 2 tank, and Sorkman and Stanislav. Grisha, once again, this is the story of this final. Yes, he is killing infantry in Romania. But meanwhile, his tanks are dying in the center. Grisha down to 28 tanks. And 70, still 32 tanks. It's getting thin, guys. It's getting thin. Another encirclement, gentlemen. This is two tanks involved in Baranovic. Free infantry. It's starting to look dire for our boy Grisha here. Where's Minsk actually? Is Minsk taken? Minsk is taken, gentlemen. If wow. Kiev, and let's say this right now, monkeys. If Kiev is taken, 14 days, Sweden counts it down automatically, chat. Oh, isn't that crazy? And Grisha would have lost the game. He is going way too far again, Romania. I think he's getting too thin here. And his. The, the problem is, he makes the front line to Finn with Romania. That means the... I said something yesterday. It seems like one tank of 7D 
is valued more than any other tank of the players because 70 micro is so good his skill is so high his tanks just have more value and if you make the front line this long like Risha is doing it you're giving 7d actually the position to use his tanks more do you think uh, Ger uh Risha maybe choosing Germany would have maybe altered these results we would have to point? ask him. I, I don't know why he made this decision. Uh, Russia is a strong nation. I think he feels very comfy on it. He won a lot of games. He's losing another tank. Gentlemen, we're getting closer to an ending here. And it looks like Minsk is falling apart. Gentlemen, Minsk, two more tanks taken. Grisha tanks are going down, down, down. Kiev is at the horizon. The 14 days are gonna take this time. I'm gonna click on Sweden so all the monkeys understand it. But he also gets counter and circle. Visha is going down to 17 tanks. Yes, he's killing two tanks from Germany here. Finally! No, I was about to say we finally see German tanks dead, but they're getting saved. The superior micro, the great skills of 70 are showing once more. And he's going down here. He wants to close it up. Ain't nobody can deny that 71 fair and square, four more tanks taken. If, if people come back here, but the encirclement is closed. The you south, gotta give him credit though here. You, you gotta, gotta give him credit him for so just continuing credit. to... Yep. Exactly. Dude, I have nothing but respect for these players. I swear to God, I mean this. And Grisha has done such an amazing job. But here is the south encirclement. We have a timer here, 18 seconds left. This game is over. Gentlemen, the Hoi Front International seems to be coming to an end in the last 10 seconds. Drew, 8, 7. We didn't have a new receipt, but this is the one true counter. 3, is. 2, 1. Oh. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. This game is decided officially for 70. Oh, my God. GG. Gentlemen, GG in the chat. GG in the chat. Undisputed. Undefeated. He made it look easy. I have to officially change dresses here. Drew, please talk to the people for one second here. Okay, so big question is, who is going to hire some of these finalists as their new general taking over? Because somebody, somebody's got to do it. And I mean, I would personally do it. If I was one of these, if I was even on the same level partially, uh, I'd be looking like, that's like new process. It's like getting recruited by a certain countries to be military advisor at least a military advisor position you could ask for something like that right i know that uh i know that north korea has got to be looking for some of that stuff and hey i would take i would take that if the pay was right if the pay was right of course i'd be a military advisor for <laughs> kim jong-un who wouldn't uh, i was what just rejoicing and he talks about kim jong-un gentlemen <laughs> this song is dedicated to the boy 70. drew it is time to interview the man Ladies and gentlemen, Drew unfortunately, Drew could only be here for one game. Chat show some love for Thank Drew Dronald. Drew, what are your final words to the viewers here, man? Final words is, um, uh, thank you for, uh, dealing with my, uh, stupid, uh, oh, just good. anything. Oh, oh, my fucking commentary! Don't, I tried don't my best, worry. man. <laughs> Thank it was you so really much. fun though. I'm just I'm just thankful for you to for the uh, invite. I, I'm thankful for all these casters coming. It means a lot. Thank you very much, brother. All the best. See ya! I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Gentlemen, it is done. In three games, 7D makes the Scottish people proud. The people are descend from yes. Woo! Congratulations! Woo! And now look at this chat. Look at this. Look at the production value. Alhamdulillah. Ladies and gentlemen, right to the man, the myth, the legend, the undisputed, unbeaten champion of the first. I gotta turn this uh, fucking shit off here. Seven motherfucking D. Seven D. Stop texting all the girls that text you right now and tell me how the fuck do you feel, Seven D? Oh, I feel pretty good. Well, you must feel pretty good, man. I've always seen you as a very unemotional guy, but come on, there has to be emotions here. What are your emotions? Share with us. Honestly, there weren't many doubters, but I, I heard Grisha said on his player card that 70 isn't a threat. Well, I'm not sure how he feels about that now. Goddamn 70. You have been an unstoppable, dominating force throughout this entire tournament. I, the entire time I've been watching you, I've been asking myself, why the fuck is this guy so much better? I've been asking you every interview, and in the end, we're here with 2,500 euros going to Scotland, representing the pride of Glasgow, my brother. Well, I just think that everyone has approached this tournament like, uh, keep clicking, you know, just you always have to keep pushing. But like the best way to play is just to sit back and think and just ad adapt to how they're playing. My boy, 2.5k 
dollars, I have to say, not euros, dollars, are going your way. Did you think what you are going to do with this money? Uh, I think my lunch money is paid for for the next year, so you know. <laughs> from, from me to you, I'm going to ask you, what are your final words to the viewers, thousands of viewers, the chat, everyone involved, man. This is your moment. You took it. Nothing but respect once again. Jeez, I don't want to ever play against you, that's for sure. What are your final words? Uh, glory to Scotland. Scotland reigns supreme. Thank you very much for these uh, words. Thank you, Toka Gentleman. Four years ago, a weird ginger started pressing the stream button. He regretted it. It was weird. He was working in the supermarket. No money on his bank account. I know you don't like these speeches, but I'm doing one. Four years later, we reached 15,000 viewers on the Hoi Front International. An idea made by many people. A community coming together. You have to understand. I know there's a lot of lurkers. All these spammers, whatever. But boys, this started in nothing. This started with nothing. No one believed in this. No one believed Hoi Force ever going to be a big game, esports-wise, multiplayer-wise. And we all came together. Content creators. From Dave to to Alex, to Baku and all the others, to you, the viewers, from a mere follower, from a guy that just lurks, from a guy that gives hundreds of subs. We all came together, the mods, everybody, and we created this. I know I'm the face here that sits here, everybody's looking at, but this is us coming together. Nothing but respect to all the players. There has been drama, stuff. I have nothing but respect to them. No hard feelings. I wish them all the best. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. I now have to switch scenes. The music goes away. I love all of you more than you fucking think. Have a great evening. And we're gonna say goodbye. And I'll see you next time. All the best. Pshh. She's lifting my fingers like sand. Heard that she had a man. Now I'm just sitting here sad. Oh well, shit, sail. She's lifting my fingers like sand. Heard that she had a man. Now I'm just sitting here sad. Now I'm just sitting here sad. She slipped through my fingers like sand. Heard that she got a man. Now I'm just sitting here sad. Now I'm just sitting here sad. She slipped through my fingers like sand. Heard that she got a man. Now I'm just sitting here sad. Now I'm just sitting.